Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead comic book series discussion topic video. This one will be a top five. I'll be counting down my top five favorite characters from the Walking Dead comic book series. Okay, so this was a bit of a tricky video to make. Um, you know, I made a lot of these for the Walking Dead television series, but I haven't really done these in a really long time for the Walking Dead comic book series, which is to do, you know, top five, top ten uh, type stuff for it. Since the Walking Dead comic book series is so long running, it's even longer than the, the TV series in terms of time frame. It's like double or more, right? So uh, there's a lot of events that happen all the way through the comic books from the beginning until now, uh, which is issue 143. So uh, this... This video will be of issue 143 up to issue 143 in terms of my top five favorite characters from the Walking Dead comic book series. I uh, want to say a very special thank you for the uh, the Patreon um, you know pledges from a few people recently. Uh, Lewis Morris pledged, so thank you very much to Lewis uh, Bernard Pitch uh, Pitchner. Uh, Cameron Carter, of course, and Evan uh, Johnson also also pledged. I'll put the link in the description to the Patreon page for uh, the channel. And basically what it is is a place where you can go if you want to pledge a dollar a month or something like that to the channel. It helps me do giveaways, helps me be able to do other things like that, get new stuff for the background, things like that. Very cool, very special thank you to all of them. Plus they get special um, basic, when they send in a, a question or a video suggestion, they get higher priority than everybody else, uh, as makes sense. So check it out. Link will be in the description for the uh, Patreon for Trev's channel too. Um, okay, so let's count down the top five of, you know, best characters in the Walking Dead comic book series, at least my favorite. Um, not necessarily the same thing, really my favorite um, or, or characters that I enjoy the most. Uh, and you guys can write yours in the comments below and also check out deadreviews.com uh, forum we're setting up right now. Um, it's got some people already already started to use it in that, so sign up for an account if you want. Uh, as when the Walking Dead series returns, of course, with Fear the Walking Dead in Season 6, uh, I'm going to have a lot of discussion topics there, that kind of stuff, uh, after the videos uh, on deadreviews.com. Um, so let's start off with number five. Okay, now there's obviously... Tons of characters from the Walking Dead comic book series. There's just tons. There's so many, it's really hard to narrow them down from, you know, good guys, villains, way more than the Walking Dead television series, and, you know, a lot more story arcs, a lot more trades. It's just, man, it's it's quite the volume to try to break down your top five favorites. So I thought uh, back quite a bit as I read through the series, you know, over the years, and, and I've reread it a few times. Um, and here's my top five. Uh, number five, I'm going to go with Michonne, the, the comic book series version of Michonne. I do like Michonne in the comic book series. She was one that I had experienced. I read first, uh, as with pretty much every character, I had read them first before seeing them in the TV series. And the comic book series version of Michonne is very similar to Denai Greer in the, the TV series. I want to say almost exact. Um, but the the parts they're at right now are very different. Um, the Michonne in the Walking Dead comic book series right now doesn't really know who she is, doesn't really know what she wants, is kind of confused, doesn't really know if she wants to allow herself to love, be loved, and kind of be happy. Whereas in the TV series, it's the exact opposite of that. The Michonne in the TV series is ready for all that and is wanting that. Um, so very interesting kind of, uh, you know, even though they're pretty much exactly the same, the spots where they're at right now are completely opposite. Um, but I would put her at number five, man. She's had so many awesome zombie kills throughout the series, uh, so many great splash panels of her stabbing zombies and that. I remember back uh, after uh, the Too Far Gone TV series version, Made to Suffer comic book series version, when Carl's in the one car and she stabs the zombie through the back of the head with the, uh, with the sword. That was pretty cool, uh, pretty cool splash page. But there's been so many and covers and everything with her uh she's definitely one of the best characters in the comic book series of course still there still around still a lot of fun to read that is number five michonne number four is going to be a bad guy it's going to be negan <laughs> yeah uh yeah i'm not a big fan of the walking dead comic book series governor he's a lot more cruel than the tv series version he doesn't have that kind of soft side like uh, uh david morrissey does in the tv series at least when i read him i don't get that sense so in terms of a favorite villain for the comic book series negan is by far my favorite he's funny he's twisted he's sick he's sadistic um and he also he really enjoys uh what he's doing i mean he really really enjoys it he absolutely loves being the leader of the saviors or at least he did and um you know he really enjoys kind of that 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 brutal reality that is the zombie apocalypse he really enjoys just uh just understanding that world and just being in the world and um you know for that 
I just I have to add him to the list. He's just so much fun to read. Even though he's a bad guy and you kind of hate him because of some of the characters he's killed with Lucille and that. Even still, I, I got to put him on here, man. Negan is a lot of fun. So he's going to be at number four at this point. Uh, now we're into the top three. At number three, I'm going to put Andrea. Uh, my favorite female from The Walking Dead comic series for sure. Maybe overall between both. But the TV series version of her was was really messed up. Really not as good as the uh, the comic series version. Really love how her and Rick have uh, are, are basically married now. Really liked how the comic series brought that all together because she's one of those really early survivors from way back in the, um, the comic series. And to see her and Rick together, you know, uh, just happy, you know, in love. And to see her as kind of like Carl's uh, you know, uh, stepmother, so to speak, or kind of replacement mother, uh, motherly figure anyway, uh, I've really enjoyed a lot. Plus, she's got the badass sniper skills, and, uh, you know, uh, we're seeing that kind of with Sasha in the TV series, which is cool, but I prefer uh, Andrea in the uh, comic book series because she, she does all of those things. She, she's, she's kind of that love interest for Rick, and she's the badass sniper, and she's a mother for Carl, uh, at least somewhat. She's just a great character, and I've loved to read her all the way through. She's been fantastic. Um, Plus, you saved their ass a few times in the uh, uh, the comic book series. Whenever Rick needed a sniper, Andrea was there, so that was cool. Plus, the fight with the savior in the tower where she knocked the one out, that was awesome, too. So she's a tough chick, for sure. Andrea, number three, my favorite female from the comic book series. Number two. So the runner-up, number two, is going to be Rick Grimes, the comic book series version. The uh, missing no hand, he's right there. There's the figure of him right there. Um, and, man, he is quite the badass. I love in the TV series now we're starting to see the two feel more close. You know, um, the, the TV series version of Rick is very badass, like the comic book series version has been for a really long time. The comic book series version has, you know, obviously gone far beyond that point and has kind of be became become a little bit more lenient now, but at the same time still has that super badass side. And even though his body is not what it once was because he's literally given up his body uh, for the group to become what it is for the rest of the people there. You know, he's given his, uh, his, his <laughs> literally limbs, right? Uh, and his leg is not, it barely works now, right? It's not very good, that's for sure. He certainly couldn't run or anything like that. Um so, yeah, awesome character is Rick. He's been through a, a tremendous amount in the Walking Dead comic book series. I've loved to read him all the way through and uh, really enjoying the evil Rick, so to speak, in the uh, uh, TV series version now at this point. Probably my favorite character in the TV series still, uh, yeah, at this point. Uh, even, you know, beating out Daryl now. Uh, Daryl be number two. Uh, and number one. Number one, of course, you guys already know if you've been watching my comic book related uh, Walking Dead videos lately, it has to be Carl Grimes. Carl is just so much fun, man, in every way, especially lately uh, after the time skip. I've really, really enjoyed reading him. He's my favorite character in the series overall. Earlier on, too, and stuff like when he kills Ben and just some of the other stuff he does all the way, th you know, leading through, you know, really is surprising, really shocking, but makes sense, too, uh, for, you know, what he's been through and the type of character that he is. I love recently how he kind of uh, really cares about this Lydia girl because the way she looks at him is, you know, is different. Everybody else sees him. He's got this big gaping hole, missing eye. And she just, she, you know, it doesn't bother her at all. So I really like how he kind of goes after what he wants. He's super badass. He's a rebel without a cause, so to speak. And uh, even as a kid trying to kill Negan with the assault rifle and all the other stuff he's done all the way through, uh, man, amazing. Uh, just my awesome character, my favorite character at this point, for sure. Um, so, yeah, there's my top five. Number five, Michonne. Number four, Negan. Number three, Andrea. Number two, Rick. And number one, Carl. That's my list. Uh, let me know what you, your guys' are. If you want to write down your top five or maybe just top one in the comments below. Um, yeah, go ahead and do that. Uh, I'd be interested to see, you know, kind of who the favorite characters. I wouldn't be surprised for a lot of people if it's, if it's Rick or if somebody has like Maggie on the list or something like that. That'd be cool too. So write your list below. And uh, if you like the video, please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can go ahead and subscribe at the bottom left. And uh, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, I want to thank you guys for all the support, especially those four people who helped out with the, uh, the Patreon page. Really appreciate it, guys. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys again real soon. As always, it's Trev. Same peace.